Welcome to the big story tonight at five. We have new video of the very moment a metro train derailed. In fact, service is shut down between National Airport and Potomac Yard. It was for a short time today. Yeah, now the general manager of WMATA ordering an inspection of all 2000 and 3000 series trains. Our Stephanie Ramirez live at Reagan National. Uh, Stephanie, tell us how, how much will these, these inspections impact the system? Sure, we can tell you, you can see behind us, the closures are still in place. Now, with those 2,000 and 3,000 series trains, we're told that makes up about 25 to 30 percent of the system. These inspections are supposed to be visual inspections, so it is supposed to be completed by the morning, and then there's going to be more thorough inspection this weekend. The GM telling us that that's because this derailment had to do with some kind of part from a braking system from a 3,000 series train falling on a track causing this incident. Now we have that video to show you and you can also hear some of the urgency from those responding to this event on the dispatch recording site open megahertz. The lead car is derailed and there is some damage to the uh, inside of the running rails as well. Over. The video WMATA released shows an object on the left rail you see the train car wavering back and forth after hitting that object. WMATA's general manager, Randy Clark, telling us that object is apparently a component that came from the braking system of an older 3000 series train. They believe it fell off as the older Blue Line Franconia Springfield bound train was going by. And then a newer 7000 series, 7, series train headed in the same direction hits that object and derails. Thankfully, all 43 people on board were not hurt. Right now, we do not know how long that portion of the track will remain closed. This all happened at around 11 o'clock this morning. One rider who was not on the train still called it scary. Another frustrated with more delays, saying it makes her not want to keep riding the system. She also doesn't feel that any cost increases are worth it. We asked the GM about this, coming on the heels of the team lobbying the region's partners just yesterday to chip in even more money, or the transit agency will have to face staffing cuts and service delays. You know, this does go to show that um, it, it, the early indications are that we potentially had an issue with a 3000 series train, which is from the 80s. We are trying to purchase our new 8000 series fleet uh, that we right now are probably going to be struggling to find the capital dollars necessary to buy that entire fleet, which would actually, and we just talked about this at board meeting yesterday, that would be actually used to replace the 3000 series fleet. And guys, we're told, by the way, that that 3000 series train involved in this incident, it completed its trip. They don't know what car the piece came from, but that train was pulled off the line to have it inspected to see what happened there. They don't believe that the part impacted the ability for that train to stop. Right now, trains here are single tracking, so you're going to want to check before you head out. Guys.